for uh, hanging in the, with us here on a late Sunday night, it's 1030. Um, hey, I, I'm extremely excited. I'm proud of these guys. Um, I just told them, you know, everybody's heads down a little bit, just the way the game finished out. Um, because, you know, I think we, we made a little bit of a meal of it. But at the same time, our ultimate goal when we started this two weeks ago when the NCAA selections came out was to advance, right, and, and play and carry. And we did that. So um, I told them at the very beginning of the season, we cannot take wins for granted, no matter what they look like. And, man, we've had some dramatic ones this year. Um, so I'm extremely proud. I thought the way we played in the first half uh, and even early in the second half was some of our better soccer of the year. I thought our reactions and our counter pressing was excellent. Um, you know, and we did, we dealt well with their restarts. We knew they were a big team and second balls and flicks and all that stuff. Very difficult to prepare for because <laughs> frankly, we don't have a guy over six, two, um, you know, in, in preparation, but at the same time it, is they grind it. And that's what this team is doing. And, uh, I, I, this group from the day to selection show, even a little bit before uh, we've challenged them as a staff just to grind and work and fight. And I think you see that in our in our in our football right now. We got a, a good fighting mentality. Sometimes it's really clean and it looks nice, and sometimes we just survive. Um, but in the end, people just look at the score, you know. And uh, in, in soccer, it's cruel, right? You can outplay a team, and you look at the score, and they lost, and that's all they see. They had no idea how you played. So right now, the only thing I'm looking at is that we're advancing and going to carry, and we're playing a really good Kentucky team on Thursday night, or we don't know when it is Thursday. Bobby, uh, I thought. Um... You guys jumping on them kind of early and getting a couple goals. I don't want to say took their confidence away because they kept playing, but how big was that, especially with, with the young team like you guys have? Huge. I mean, like, we haven't really imposed ourselves for longer periods of time this year. So to start that way and the energy the guys had from, from the kick, even to half, there was a couple of minutes where we had to defend a couple of restarts from some silly turnovers. Um, but I thought we were on the front foot for a majority of it. And I think as coaches, you want to go in there and, you want to you, you want to prepare your group for maybe some adjustments that you can make defensively or with the ball, but you don't want to change it, right? Because you want them to continue doing what they're doing. And I thought we did that. I mean, I was just yelling at Omar on the walkover is the game should have been over 10 seconds, 15 seconds in the second half. Um, a player of his ability in that situation, that's what you want, right? That's what you want. Great uh, flick on by Kyle Jose. Um, and I think that would have been the dagger, John. Um, but I'm really proud of the way the guys fought and, and momentum changes is what this young team really needs to avoid, like negative momentum, right? And I think uh, we had self-inflicted wounds today. And for us to advance and win games in the NCAA tournament, we, we have to take those away. And, and we're learning each and every day, right? Like we get another three days of training and another game. Only 16 teams get to play it now. Um, before today, 32. So I'm excited. Bobby, I was about to ask, do you think Omar remembers the two that he rifled in more than he remembers the one that he missed? Because like you said, that he played great tonight, but that one shot obviously was big, right? I'll tell you what, Les, I, I love the fact that um, everybody sees the ball going in the back of the net and what a special player he is with that left peg, right? And especially in front of goal. But if you ask Omar to rate his performance today, he's going to want to be better. And I think that's the beauty about him and his work rate and even this, this team, right? You I mean, someone had a great game and they want to do things better. And uh, no, he'll just the competitor that he is, he's going to remember the miss for sure. But he needs to remember the game winner that he scored there too in, in beautiful fashion. I mean, two big time finishes. Omar does not score like average goals. I think everybody that's seen him here play this this, this full year, um, his goals have been great and, and come in crucial times as well. Jelani, not a bad first tournament game for him huh? as a, as a freshman. Uh, with his passing and obviously he got hurt. Is he, is he going to be okay? Or is you guys still looking at him? Do you think this is my first interview, John Dale? You really think I'm going to tell you what? No, like, we'll, we'll my... talk about his passing. Talk about his passing. Yeah, I, I, obviously... I thought, I thought, I thought Jelani was great and he's been maturing each and every day. And a lot of these young guys have been um, thrown into the fire, you know, and, and this is why they came here. I think what you saw with Jelani is our players need to smile. They need to enjoy themselves. And I think as young players, they're so critical of themselves when they make mistakes. And, and that's what I told them before the game at halftime is like, make mistakes. You got guys around you to help you and pick you up. And just said it at the end of the game. It was like, but Jelani was playing um, with energy and he was enjoying his game. And I think that the way we play, like we can't grind all the time. We have to enjoy our football. And I think he did that tonight. And he was a lot cleaner. He was getting on the turn. Um, where Jelani starts imposing himself a little bit is when he really gets good pressure on the ball and he knocked a couple out of bounds in our press, which I think builds momentum and confidence for him. So I thought he was great tonight.